Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to the continuing saga of Cougar's Hope. This is Rimworld Alpha 13, and we just, uh, we just got attacked. <laughs> so we ended our last episode with all of these elephants that uh, came in to take us out. And Vape is bringing the last one in. Most of them died right here in this gauntlet. So we need to get uh, these reset. We're going to get ivory tusks out of this, which have a value of 450 each. So, good something to sell in exchange for medicine or bionic arms or, or what have you. Um, I'm guessing kind of a cleanup episode. We'll see how it actually goes. A little bit of maintenance, like uh, uh, remembering to turn the sun lamp on to the indoor garden after I've roofed it. <laughs> Let's get the turrets turned off. Um, I swapped Klaus out from this bedroom to this bedroom. Michael, how about you move this guy next and give Klaus a little bigger bedroom, more space, since he's our, our cranky boy. Yeah. He gets close to, to a breakdown too often from the, his disease, which should be ending soon, I think. Klaus is over here to get a treatment. I need Rabbit to not rest, but to treat Klaus. And that might be his last treatment, and he is done. We'll see how that goes. Ronnie needs a treatment too. She's got the plague, and she is at the major stage, though her immunity is at 77%. So, untreated turns into... Still there. Okay. Rabbit, you need to treat Ronnie. How much medicine do we have? Where is that stored at? Here? There. 24 left. Okay. Just heard uh, probably flash roaring. We've got to deal with some bears out here. We have five on the map now. Which is enough to be a little bit uncomfortable. It's uh, a lot to keep track of as to who's hungry and wants to eat. I'm going to take this bedroom here of Michael's and enlarge it. So hopefully he can work his way through here before they tear these down. Then if I set a, a rebuild order, they may transfer this these materials right back into his wall again. That'd be nice. So we're going to hang out over here. Um, what else is going on? It's kind of a narrow room, but it's taller than this one, which is why I decided to go one more wide. We have the space anyway. We've got three, uh, three squares deep in our walls right here. So, Natalia's going to bed. Everybody else is pretty much in bed after that, that, uh, that elephant event. So they're all tuckered out, except Dwayne, who's a night owl, and Michael. Dwayne is playing horseshoes in the rain. That's dedication. Boomalopes have gone to bed. Everybody else has gone to bed except Spirit, which wants to be with Klaus. No, Dolly's in there. Where is Spirit? Animals. Spirit. Oh, right there. Didn't see. I was looking right here at Alpaca 1 and Snookums. So, but is set... To oh, is not. That's right. Uh, no traps has to be adjusted now. Okay, let's do that. Zone uh, clear out. Where's the animal? No traps. All right, no traps area. We clear this one now, and we add this one so that Snookums oh uh, spirit can get. In there to be with uh, with her master. I'm assuming spirit is a she. Yeah. Okay. Next. Klaus is tearing down just what I wanted. Let's before you haul away structure and granite block wall to there, and let's send these guys out of here. All right. You are playing chess. <laughs> Who else is up? Ronnie is still in bed because of the plague, though is treated. 
82%, and it's still major. I think after that there goes uh, severe and then extreme. So she's going to be just fine. Anyway, last little touch-ups here. Dwayne is stone cutting. Oh, I'll tell you what. If I can get you to drop that there and haul this one. Kind of clear this area out for the construction. Then maybe they will go directly to there if I can coax that to happen. And haul this one. All right, Brand is resting. Yeah, that'd be fine. All right. I mean, worst case, they're going to haul this away, and then it's going to be built into this wall instead. But yeah, it'd be nice to get this room finished. Oh, well. So, what to do? Oh, I don't have my notes in front of me. I have to, I have to wing it. I did notice one thing, though. It was kind of interesting. Well, a couple of things. It's kind of wandering around the map in between. And Are you... Yeah, let's watch this. Cather is going to consume a fine meal. She's going after this one. If you click on it, you find out she wants a meal of boom rat meat, boar meat, and potatoes. All of these have got their descriptions of what they were made out of. Muffalo meat, berries, and potatoes. Klaus is sewing area. But here's one of muffalo meat and potatoes. Uh, rice, boar meat, and potatoes. Alpha beaver meat. Ooh. Rice and potatoes. You kind of get a theme there. We have lots of potatoes. Um, another thing I discovered. Where was that one? Here. Masterwork quality bed. I was kind of looking through here. It says quality superior for colonist use owner Rokes. Went to this one and it said author Rokes. But what? It's a masterwork bed. Made by Rokes. <clears throat> a simple double wide bed that fits two people. An engraving on this furniture shows Klaus tying Lumi. Lumi's hands as she twists in pain. Klaus is holding Lumi in a joint lock. A gerbil to the right of the main seam seems to uh, symbolize misery, and the work is executed in a sensual style. This illustration tells the story of the capturing of Lumi on 4th of Fall 5500. Lumi, I wonder who Lumi was. Um, Lumine LeBlanc. Clothes. We have Oh, uh, we got to click on each one, don't we? Let's do it this way. Um, character? There. So when... Ronnie. Okay. And who was the one doing the capturing? Uh, right there. Klaus captured Ronnie. That was the scene. All right, that's interesting. I haven't found any other pieces of furniture that that uh, have that description. So, it may not be a very common thing to happen. Though, with uh, Rokes at 20 out of 20 on his construction skills, it's quite possible it's going to happen more often than not. Cathra is cleaning. Let's get you to clean in here first. So, food is still fine. Lots of uh, animals to tear down. It is 20 degrees in there, so they're frozen. Um, Daylilies. I remember that being on my chart of things to do. The thought was to put more daylilies around. How best to do that? They get a, a, a joy bonus, I believe, when they're near it, or some kind of a happiness bonus. So if we were to zone <clears throat> growing, say... Okay right there and not oh, right there you daylily and you daylily and we'll try to do that once in a while here and there but I think this episode is finally time to get this moved <clears throat> at least to get as much of this construction going as possible um this is soil. I had set this... No, I, I guess I deleted this, so it would not build, because we had other things to do. I think that's what's up. 
what I think I'm going to do, we have a light in there. Move this light to here. Maybe. Yeah, let's relocate this guy. Poor mood. Ronnie. Get me out of this bed. Rand, what's with you? You need a treatment. Nettie needs a treatment. Ronnie has probably been disturbed in her sleep a thousand times. Disturbed negative six. Psychic drone medium, negative 14. That's right, I haven't clicked on this. Every colonist of the female gender winces in pain. Some distant engine of hatred is stirring. It is projecting a powerful psychic drone over this entire region on a frequency that only seems to affect the female gender. For a few days, some people's mood will be quite a bit worse. So, Ronnie is already at a disadvantage because she's joy deprived, she's cabin fevered, she's everything. And you know, in pain and, and sick of this disease. Seems like we had a tin foil hat here somewhere. I'm not seeing it, but I thought we had one. Hmm. Because Michael had used it at one point when we had a psychic drone before. I really doubt anybody would be wearing it. Though that is possible. Gear. Terrible moods times two. Ronnie and Nettie. Oh, this could be really bad. Okay, so Ronnie, how close are you? Um, that's not Ronnie. There we go. Needs. You are there. Food. Rabbit. Feed Ronnie. Okay, Nettie, where are you at? Nettie, there you are. Needs. You're on your way back because I think you just got a good meal. Alright, that's going to help us. But, gear and steel helmet. Let's run through the, the list here. Kevlar, steel, no tin foil. Okay, we don't have anybody wearing it. I don't remember selling it. We have plasteel. That's right, we have plasteel. We need gold. That's right. I need to get this guy built. Tin foil helmet. It's kind of a U shape, a half circle kind of thing. An upside down U. There. Psychic foil helmet. That one. Um, let's wait. Let's get Ronnie fed. Hopefully she doesn't break. Get a fine meal coming. We have no fine meals left. Uh, let's try this. You're going to feed insect jelly. Well, let's read a little more about insect jelly. Why are you choosing that first? Because of its unique biological properties, it can nourish almost any creature and never rots. Flammability, nutrition, 0 0.05 versus a fine meal. Uh... Doesn't give a nutrition value. That's not it. <clears throat> Fine meal. There we go. So, max hit points. See, it adds joy, though. That's why I want that to happen. Let's do it this way. Let's see if we can force him to grab one of those. Rabbit, we're going to draft you and place you here. Once you're there, we're going to give you the order to go and give her a fine meal. See if that will work. If I were to undraft, you just picked it up and you're consuming it. No, 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 no. Let's. There we go. Fine meal to Ronnie. Thank you. Nettie's in here. She's not too happy. Health needs a treatment. Poor rabbit's not going to get fed. Michael is in bed already, so I don't have him to to uh, use as backup. Terrible moods are still there. No, still just Ronnie. She's being fed right now. As soon as she gets past the stage of a terrible mood, I'm going to go have her put on that uh, psychic foil helmet. So, rabbit, treat Nettie. Then you can go do your own thing. You, rabbit, 
You're there, but you have lots of mood left, so you're fine. Ronnie is on her way back. And I think it's probably safe to send her off. Why don't you go wear this one? Critical alert, colonist needs treatment. Yep, but she'll be fine. Though I did drop her down. Experiencing acute pain, uh, cramped environment, terrible feeling, sick. Hmm. She is down here, kind of in the dark. I was about to put lights in here when I got distracted. <clears throat> Ah, we're smoothing floors. And we got Michael's room rebuilt. Oh, good. And everything else rebuilt. Dang, you guys have been busy. And now we're smoothing floors. Oh, I hate to throw any more uh, uh, projects at you. Ronnie is cloud watching. Yeah, let's let you do some joy stuff before I send you back to bed. I think you'll be okay. Anyway, one, two, three wide over here. Yeah, that's fine. Um, lights. Must build some lights over here. Furniture. Standing lamp. Uh, something like this and something like this. That should be fine. So that takes care of that. That means they're going to stop s smoothing floors, unfortunately. They'll get back to it eventually. What I'm thinking is going to happen here is we're going to wall across this. And come up and take this little bump out. So this... Oh, never mind. That room goes away. Okay. <laughs> so, wall across here. Send it over and drop it down. That allows this to be enclosed. And we can beautify it and be a, a place of high beauty, beauty and high comfort. And make this more of a common area. So they'll all spend time in this room each day. Pool table, uh, chess table, all that stuff in there. Um, so, I'm thinking floor, remove that group there. Now this is marble tile. So let's marble tile. Let's see here. There you are. This strip through here. And there. Okay. That's wall. Structure. Wood. Across here. I think like that. Now, venting. Yeah, we got to think about venting too. Okay. We got to vent into this wall as well. Yeah, I believe so. Okay. So, you know, I've got this airlock over here, and yet this just opens right up to the outside. Huh. I rethink that one. But temperature vent here and here. We may do something different with this whole area, but I think this is safe. All right, so we're going to wall across. We're, we're going to door as well, but let's go ahead and get the walls in. I'm thinking I'm going to leave a two wide aisle there. No, we can door into this wall. Yeah, exactly where though. Let's make it symmetrical. We're gonna drop in to this section of the marble, so the door will be right there. All right, so wooden door here, here, and that should complete the pattern through here. We've got this to marble tile. Uh, floor, marbles at the end, do that, and this can be considered part of that room, that'll be fine. Don't need another door over here. So that encloses this space. Um, this guy right here, how wide are we? How do we determine that? Let's structure wall, we are 10 wide. Alright, we have plenty of uh, support in this area, let's deconstruct that wall. Rogue should jump right into that because he loves to deconstruct. And it looks like there's already tile underneath. So good. So with that, we have a room now. In this room will be what? I'm thinking a billiards table. 
joy made of wood right there traders are on their way okay uh, we're red because of the light fixture okay you get relocated to where reinstall probably right there would work have one right there this guy actually is just kind of screaming to go right there huh of course we don't know if that wall is going to stay this brick maybe has to be determined here before we do much else okay let's relocate some things reinstall this guy everything has a plant already right for the most part yes um all right temporarily let's what is that b b let's kind of line these up around this room for now till we figure out what else to do with them reinstall here Um, yeah, something like that. Alright, so that takes care of two, four, six. That's all those. Alright, um, spans. Gotta think about spans. Want to put in here the miscellaneous orbital trade beacon. Unfortunately, inside of a room I can't see the pattern so we want to be at this level here at the most even better this this far down so the level of this wall right in here so if he's there so that point there let's go up this way probably want to be about there take you down like so and hit that point right there that's going to take it down into here, but that'll be fine. We may shrink this down a bit. So actually, these may move. And consume this entire area. And then readjust other things to match it. Alright, so that's going to be there. And... Can I get a measuring tape through a wall? Yeah. So 10... We can span out to 11, I believe. So if we were to leave this guy, then we'd be fine. Well, I'll tell you what. <clears throat> we know we're good down to here. We don't know that this is going to stay. This may all come out. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, he stays. Everything else can start coming out. Deconstruct. To there for now. I think it's safe to say this is going to go away. I'll do that. This may all change too. It probably will, but we'll wait on that one. Okay, let's leave our airlock. Leave that airlock. The airlock is probably going to move over into this area before it's all done. This can come out. Um, all right, where's another 11 from here? We can't make it to this point. So we need another one probably here-ish. Come back. There. 10, 11, right there. No. <laughs> there. There. Okay. So, deconstruct that one. Once this is built, though. So, Vapa, as soon as you drop that... Oh, we're bringing steel in. Finally. Do that. I believe once the materials are in, it counts as real. I can't walk through it anymore, so I'm assuming it works as a support from that point on, but... Just in case not, Vape was fully capable of punching that out real quick. Okay, we're supported there now, which means the rest of this can go away. Now, 
I'm going to leave that just yet as a reminder that this used to be mountain. We could still get an infestation out of here. In fact, we want a granite, double granite wall this side of wherever this lands, which once we get it built and get all these out of here, I, well, I can do it over here. I'll have an option. We have no power. We have no power. We have an option of doing this and it will show the stockpile. Create stockpile. All right, what's with the power? We are draining things fast or we have broke a connection. So let's first of all find Brand, who just went to bed. Well, I'm going to bug you. Come over here and trade with Lax. We <laughs> okay, let the laxative jokes ensue. All right, work, no, architect, power. What are we missing? We lost this leg. Power. I'm going to pause a second before he takes off and takes away my view. All of this connects. How do we have a loop for our turrets in case a leg blows? The other leg will, will complete it. Um, heading out into all of these areas. Power comes in here, goes there, and is no longer. Well, it is. it does backfeed. We gotta make it more direct. But this does go through here, down, back up, through, and grab this. All of our power is connected. So we're just using more than uh, than we have the ability to make. All right. Temperature outside, it is one in the morning. It's 50 degrees. For, <coughs> excuse me, for starters, let's that's off. Let's kill every other heater. You power off. We'll leave that one. You power off. There's another one. The kitchen. You power down. Okay, well there's three times 100. So there's 300 watts right there. We'll go with that. Uh, about to trade over here. There goes Brand, who's sleepy and cranky, and he says, Oh, you woke me up to go talk to them. And Psychic Soothe Pulsar. Psychic Insanity Lance and a Psychic Animal Pulsar. Okay, what are these wonderful things? One use artifact that drives all animals in the region into a man hunting rage. So there's another way to get rid of a siege, huh? Send the boomalopes after them. Um, this guy drives any character into a berserk state from any distance, even through walls. So that's the sort of thing that we could send against. In fact, that is probably the same one, the same item, uh, kind of item, that we used on the uh, the bugs. When, they, when we had the insect infestation, and they started to chew through the wall. That was a really nice insurance policy. Ooh. We can unload some... Uh, we can sell Trebo here. Hmm. Last time we had the opportunity to do that, Klaus was on the verge of breaking. This time we have Nettie and Ronnie on the verge of breaking. Ha! <sighs> Psychic drone is still happening. It'd be so nice to free up that bed <laughs> and to stop stop uh, spending meals. I'm gonna do it this time. I'd like to do both. I don't think we're gonna get a Gera, but I think I'll just release a Gera. She's 99% and she's not showing any progress. So we're going to sell Trebo. We're going to release Agara. I don't know if there is a bonus to our colonists for a release. It certainly wouldn't be enough to offset that, but we'll uh, force some joy on them and make this work. But that, and if we were to buy this as our insurance policy, we owe 229, we have 315. So this is possible be nice to grab these two components as well. Can we do that? We can. Alright. So, on this one over here, 
is degraded, but it's still functional, so we'll keep that. Herbal medicines. We have 34 that are worth this and 9 that are worth that. Oh, okay. They would buy them at a very low price, I think is what that means. Hmm. Otherwise, I got nothing else to trade with them. So if we do this, we're broke. But we've got a psychic lance as a backup. This guy right here temp gives a temporary mood boost to everyone on the map. I don't know if that would stop a bug invasion. I don't know. I think this is the way to go. And we are pretty much broke now. But hopefully whoever comes in later will want to buy oh, ivory tusks, insect jelly, whatever we have that's that's unusual. Alright, except Trebo is gone. Pause. Let's see what that did to us. That's interesting. Downed. Oh, they're going to come get her. They're here. Okay. So, let's find someone. Well, first of all, let's release Agera. And we're out of the the prisoner business until the next attack. We'll see if we get a better group to choose from. Uh, prisoner and release. Okay. Um, let's just grab Vapa here. Needs. Prisoner is sold negative eight. Not that bad. I thought it'd be a whole lot worse. Do we sell the Gera? Well, negative six. Okay, negative eight for seven days. So negative 16 for 7 days is going to be too much. Uh, Ronnie, throw another negative 16 in there. Ronnie didn't go back to the medical bed. Is that a problem? She should be in the hospital bed, shouldn't she? Let's do that. Not injured. What? What? Huh? What? Ronnie. Ronnie. Health plague. Developed immunity she's done. Oh good. So she's done with that. Health needs no longer in great pain. They're, they're, the sickest, oh, acute pain is still there. That's Cathra? Just psychic drone, not acute pain. So this has to do with the, uh, the, the plague, which will cycle out in doesn't give me a timer. Huh. Okay. Anyway, what I'm going to do here before they get moving again is restrict joy. Let's do something like this for all of the ladies. Ronnie. Who are experiencing the psychic drone right now. They're going to get an extra break for the next several days. And that way, if there's any effect from the uh, uh, the sale of Trebo, then uh, it'll it'll negate that. Okay, we've now got a lance which needs to be hauled in. It's sitting out here, some right there. Okay, Dwayne, are you the closest? Brand is stargazing. Rokes, you're playing chess. I bet you you'll still play chess if I ask you to do this too. So let's get that brought in. Dwayne stargazing. That'll be fine for a little bit longer. Okay. All right. I'm I'm guessing those heaters have been turned off by now. Yeah, that one's off. That one's off. These are out, I believe. Let's. Tell you what, let's just turn on some power for the moment, but I can't leave this on for good because we do need to maintain our backup. Who's around here? Uh, Nettie, can you please fire these guys? A reserve by Rokes. Okay. Who is clear down here? That should give us power to get through the night. And then. And nothing here is blocked, right? No warning messages. Okay. Where is our nearest steam hole? 
right over here. Steam geyser. Is it time to get another one in? We got winter coming. And one over here. So there and there. Let's do this. Power. Oh, it was there. Okay. You're going to go there. Psychic drone is ending. Oh, good. Okay. Turn you off. Turn you off. That's going to go there. Yep, I think that works. Let's get Ronnie gear. She probably hates that psychic foil helmet. So, <laughs> let's see. Assign. Yeah, Klaus is forced to wear what right now? Klaus lives there. Oh, you are you are taking a gear out to release. Okay. Let's watch that first. Make sure that Agira clears all the traps. If not, in fact, I'm kind of iffy that she's going to. Let's, hmm, let's do, no, let's just do this one. And let's get somebody nearby. Kathra? Yeah. Can you walk through here, please? Let's get that opened. So that Agira will hopefully choose that path out of here. Looks like she is. Alright, Kathra there. And let's make sure this actually happens. Then we'll go back to whatever it was I was about to do and stop myself. Oh, you didn't do it. You're kidding. So how do we... I don't know. I can't interact. Try to arrest? Okay. May not go quietly. If you arrest a colonist, the entire faction will be your enemy. Yeah, I know that. Uh, this, they're pirates. <laughs> uh, brand, let's also reserve for. Kathra is melee, but is using a pistol and is hungry. But good melee skills. Agira, prisoner, uh, gear, did not pick up anything. Okay. Well, I'm, I guess we're going to do this to try to save Agira's life. Okay, arrested. Good. Now, if I do that, will Agira pick a new route out of here? Will we, will we recalculate to include an open door this time? Dwayne is stone cutting. This is still open. And looks like it's going to work this time. All right. Disaster averted. How do you get prisoners out of your base when your base is designed to kill anything that tries to come in? Okay, that is in. Perfect. And we have very few obstructions. Very good. Let's continue to tear things down. Tearing these out. That out. That is staying, so we can tear uh, just the one out. Yeah, let's tear these out and think about a new hallway right down here into this area here. We'll leave this table not disturbed. All right, so again, what was that squeak? Something wasn't happy. Problem is the noise travels quite far. You can't... Uh, trust that it's right next to you. I don't see any squirrels or anything just taken down. Huh. Okay. Anyway, that's all coming down. 
what I worry about is what happens to this sculpture when the table gets moved or destroyed. You can't tear it down. I guess I could. There's still a lot of work left. This one would be nice to get finished. Let's have Klaus work on this one and get it done. Work, Klaus, turn up your art, turn down your hunt. Well, your hunt isn't working right now anyway. So, Klaus, let's hunt you down over here. Making sculpture. All right, we're going to get that one done. This one we're going to cancel. And this guy we're going to deconstruct. Okay. Vapa. You're on haul first right now. Good. Now, how are bears? Think, speaking of hauling, Remy is trying to take out a turtle. Uh-huh. Rabbit is trying to tame a boomalope. He was trying to tame a, a turtle earlier, and now I realize that uh, uh, I got to clicking on the turtle that he was trying to tame. Let's see if I can find one here. Turtle. They've got a wildness of 75%. There's a good chance that... Uh, did it say minimum? Wait a minute, read that again. Minimum handling skill of 6. He should be able to do it, but the odds are not that great. Failed. Okay. So do we not have meat out here? We do not have meat out here. Okay. Uh, batteries are draining fast. we got to deal with batteries. We are using rate and stored. Stored is increasing, so that's what we're using. And the excess is going in. I, I take it. That's what's going on. So as long as it's daytime, we're, we're, we're keeping up. Um, this guy is connected. All right. This is probably our priority. We're already starting to build it. Lots of steel going in. We have lots of components. Where's all that listed? There's components right there. Steel. Raw? No. Right there. 225 steel. Really could use more. This is available. It doesn't count yet because it's not in a stockpile. Uh, orders, mine, let's just make sure that all of this is queued up and ready. Okay. Anyway, let's get a power pathway into here, conduit, and we'll connect this just into the main grid. Something like that. Yeah, just right into there. Though that's right, I wanted to make a more direct route into here. Easier said than done. It's going to have to go below because we're a solid rock over here. We can't get through in any other way into this area. Alright, so we're going to go through, up, over, there. There's a pathway in because this pathway is going away. So we got to get that built before we tear all this out. Um, am I ready to get back into this? I was heading down here to look at bears. That's what I was doing. That was a concern last time. That we got a lot of bears on the map right now. And they're roaming and doing unpredictable things. While we are just randomly out there hauling things and mining things and what have you. Deer. Ooh, got deer on the map again. All right, you. Needs. All right. This guy. Squirrel. No. Let's haul him. This one. Needs. That's probably the one that ate him. You have been injured. Health. You got into a boom of something. Okay, you. There. And you. So, I would say... Let's work on these guys. I think that is the best route to go. Um, 
who, though? Trebo is still here. Food. We have to wait for these guys to leave, don't we? Eric, can you interact at all? Rescue? That's interesting. So, Tribu is now part of their clan, in a sense. And can you feed? You cannot. Let's get a meal in Tribu. At least one last meal. And then, when these guys leave, will they take Tribu? Or... I still don't know what's happening there. I have to wait and see. Um, tell you what, let's bear hunt next time. I see we're getting toward the, uh, the latter end of our episode, and I kind of want to think about this some more. Klaus, we've got 82 work left, so it'll be good to get that one finished. This is going to stay. This guy, let's create stockpile. All right, there's a stockpile. This gets deconstructed. What else is within the stockpile? This guy, deconstruct. I think that is it. That one wall, and that's all. Okay. So in that case, let's structure graphi a granite wall through here. Double it up. I think. Yeah, we'll double that up. And... A pathway coming in. They're leaving now. What's going to happen here? Trebo needs... Got fed. These guys are leaving without Trebo. Huh. So what happens here? Trebo... Female slave of the Grey Mouse Cambrer. Downed. So... <sighs> rescue and capture. Let's rescue again. And now she lives in our hospital bed instead of living in our prison. Interesting. And now I can't capture because she's in bed. <laughs> huh. Alright. I'm sure the mechanics are different in Alpha 15 than back in Alpha 13, but uh, any thoughts of how do we get rid of Trebo? Uh, I can see selling her to an orbital slaver. But then she would just vanish. But... These guys don't seem willing to come pick her up and and haul her away. Where did they go? Are they gone that quick? They're gone. Okay. Huh. Okay. Well, um, this is 58 left. Klaus is in bed because it's 4 in the afternoon. And that's what Klaus does. Okay. Still looking for gold. What else do we have going on? So we've got a bear hunt for next episode. We've got... Elephants need butchering. Which isn't being done. And so we're making simple meals. Why is... It's been... Butcher forever. And do until you have. Okay. Let's take that until you have... Stop that. Down to a smaller amount. Maybe that will help. Uh, minus 25s. Down to 250. That should turn turn butchering on. And Brand is capable of it. I don't see him around. Where's Natalia right now? I saw her stargazing. There she is right there. Let's tell her to... Reserved by Brand. Okay. So Brand does want to do it. But he wants to do a squirrel. Do this again. There we go. 
There's some meat. And Natalia, fine meals. Yeah. Now you get distracted real easy, don't you? Oh, there is no more meat. So she couldn't make any fine meals. There are already plenty of simple meals. And so she went off to her next duty, which was construction. I see. So with this one, we're going to want a double door. So we'll, we'll lock one open. A granite... Idol, Eric. Uh, a sign... No. What am I doing here? Doors. Structure. Auto door. Granite. There. A regular granite door. There. That will be locked open. And a pathway is going to come through here. And I don't think we need to double that one up. Double barrier between this area and the rest of it. What's inside there, they can bust through all they want or even bust out. In fact, if we do get any kind of infestation in here, we'll just knock the wall out ourselves and let them at it. Successfully tamed a tortoise. We have our first tortoise. Oh, good. In fact, on that news, I think I'm going to call this one done. We'll celebrate our first pet tortoise, which is the first member of our of our uh, killer tortoise goon squad. <laughs> this has been Noble Rambler. Thank you guys for watching. Hit the like and subscribe if you would, and I'll catch you later, folks. Bye-bye.